All right, temperatures warm here today. We're kind of the outlier here, at least in terms of the majority of the Midwest is you go out a couple hundred miles and it is in the 20s as far south as the Texas Panhandle and all the way up into the UP. But 46 in Alpena, 62 here in Grand Rapids, and we have some upper 60s, even 69 in Benton Harbor, 67 in South Haven and Three Rivers. A pretty warm day here, all things considered, but the reason being is because we've had the wind out of the south and east today. It's been breezy at times and will continue to get stronger as we head to the overnight hours, but notice uh, even some gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour here, and that'll really not let up until we get to Wednesday evening. By Tuesday morning, winds are out of the south, upwards of 35 miles per hour for gusts and upwards of 40 as we go through the mid morning and early afternoon hours. Then the cold front does slide through, fires off some showers and storms and may have isolated stronger wind gusts at times as well. As we go into Wednesday, winds are still going to be out of the west, but then turn northwesterly with a really strong gust and colder air. Here's a look in South Haven where we have some goals out there and some seagulls rather and Wow, waves fairly quiet for now, but again, winds are pretty breezy. You got a shaky camera in a lot of spots. A few breaks in the clouds up near my, uh, Muskegon County as well. Uh, they've had a few light showers here earlier as well. That is all fizzled out and now moved out of our area back over the lakeshore or up towards US 10 to the north. So thankfully, not a lot of rain to be concerned about here in the short term. But by the time we get to midnight 1 a.m., everything that's in Illinois and Wisconsin is going to start to slide over to the east. We're going to see our fair share of rain tonight and then thunderstorms as we head into tomorrow. Really, the entire lower peninsula included in a marginal risk, which is a one out of five on the scale. The main threat with any severe storm would be strong winds and maybe an isolated tornado, but that looks very, very low up to this point. Here we go in future track, and that is the widespread rain overnight tonight. By 6 a.m., we start to see the leading edge push out of our area and then we'll catch a brief window of dry air. But showers and thunderstorms move through the area as we go through the afternoon, especially around 2, 3 o'clock, uh, really right in the middle of the day. That'll exit by about 5, 6 o'clock. We'll be dry for the evening hours, but a few isolated flurries may be possible early Wednesday morning. Secondary cold front moves through on the backside. It'll be a cold, breezy Wednesday. Highs near 40, but wind gusts will probably uh, push the feels like temperature down to the upper 20s. All right, here's a look at widespread rain. You can see the two waves. First one quarter to a half an inch, that's overnight. And then another half an inch or so with the heavier downpours and the storms during the day on Tuesday. So widespread three quarters, maybe an inch of rain in some isolated spots. 43 degrees on Thursday. We're back to the four, uh, upper 40s and lower 50s here for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Easter, 49 degrees, mostly cloudy skies. Chance of an afternoon shower, but for now it's not looking like a washout.